So before I begin, I wanted to say a few words about the 26th Street uh, collapse. Later today, my administration will be releasing the results from several days of testing using sophisticated ground, pre ground penetrating radar. This is the latest action my administration has taken to help expedite the process in which displaced residents will be able to return home, as well as provide the public with much uh, needed information as soon as possible about the current safety of the area. We're in the process of gathering information that can inform the public of all of the actions that my administration that took in the area before the collapse, as well as provide a thorough assessment of both the structural integrity of the area, both currently and leading up to the collapse. We expect to have that information available for, for the public and the media to review within weeks. At that time, we also um, will release findings from the internal assessments that I've, been, I've ordered within my administration to determine if the citizens' complaints about the street were adequately handled and coordinated with CSX. We continue to assess the displaced residents with their housing needs. I've ordered that the claims have been, uh, the, the claims uh, be expedited so the citizens are not left in limbo while we work to determine the fault, uh, who's at fault for this. Uh, horrific incident. Engineers have finalized designs to temporarily stabilize the areas surrounding the collapse. They're also continuing to develop preliminary engineering design plans for permanent repairs through the streets. The engineering firm is working around the clock uh, to push this project to completion uh, with safety being the number one priority but understanding that this this needs to get done as soon as possible. Uh, I've also ordered the city, uh, the uh, city police, to continue to monitor the site and uh, pay careful attention to the homes that have, you know, that cannot be occupied right now. That's about it. At this point, Madam Mayor, do you believe the city is at all responsible for the landslide? I think um, while it, it's, it is natural for you know everybody to say, okay, well, who's to blame? I think we have to let the facts determine that, and that's what we're doing right now. You know, we're doing the assessments, we're looking, uh, we're tracking all of the um, the SRs that we have related to that. We're tracking what we did after each and every one of them, and that's the information that we want to uh, present to the public. Um, again, um, I want to make sure that we have all the information and that um, you know we put it out there. And um, I'm certainly not shirking responsibility. That's why we wanted to expedite the claims uh, because we know if you know it's we, while we decide, uh, we'll determine if it's CSX responsibility or the city's responsibility. It's certainly not the residents. So my focus is on expediting the claims so they're not left in limbo while this is determined. What about the analysis that was done last spring? I know mm -hmm. there are documents and reports. Mm -hmm. Why haven't those been released at this point? I know last week we were told by someone in your office that they would be released and now we're going on a week. Yeah, so we again, we're taking a look at that. I think you know, it is it's it's not reports. It's, you know, they're SRs and we're taking a look at them and we want to look at all of them and we will include that particular SR that uh, resulted in uh, the underground testing along with the others uh, that will be released. And that will be released this afternoon? No, the, the release this afternoon is the sonar testing that was done to, uh, to that was done subsequent, you know, after uh, the street collapse. Uh, I announced over the weekend that we were doing sonar testing. Um, this is a particular concern to the residents uh, who are currently displaced because that gives them some idea of, you know, whether we're going to be able to stay within that 40 day period for when they'll be able to return. If the sonar testing were to show um, significant uh, instability, it would, uh, you know, it, they would be, um, you know, understandably concerned, right? Because right. it would take longer for them to get back in their home. So that's what the, the uh, information that's going to go come out this afternoon. What's the delay in gathering these documents? It's not, it, it, is, it is not a delay, it's just not instant. You know, I think um, we live in a, you know, a Twitter, uh, you know, a, a everything is instant uh, world, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, but it's, it is, it's not on in, in uh, the work that we're doing. We're collecting information, we're making sure that we're getting supportive, 
supporting information. We want to make sure that we give you everything at the same time so it's not drips and drabs and so there's no way uh, to misinterpret uh, what we're putting out. So we're making sure that it's complete information. But at the same time, we have a massive uh, construction project that is being undertaken at the same time. So, you know, these things uh, take time. What about the, um, I know um, your DOT secretary had said last week that um, that he had dispatched engineers to other areas of the city of excessive flooding. Do you mm -hmm. know uh, the findings from that? Not yet, but you know, we've, uh, DOT, uh, the director of DOT is uh, sending um, you know, engineers to look at those areas. We have uh, housing taking a look at uh, homes uh, that are on the uh, the the list of um, you know uh, condemned or not condemned, but uh, vacant structures to make sure that we're uh, paying attention to those because we've seen in in other cities where it's you know other uh, parts of the country have experienced landslides and uh, building collapse and everything else following the the um, you know the protracted winter and extreme winter we had followed by the um, hurricane level rain so you know we we uh, are, want to be as proactive as possible so yes we're looking at the areas and as well as structures but no what's the status of the um, moat investigation do you know when there might be a conclusion or we might find out what, what occurred i mean it's an ongoing investigation i don't have a timeline yet if um, you know communications has any more um, details on when we expect to get the report, I'll make sure that they get that to you. Um, the last update I got was that it was ongoing and that the goal for the investigation is to be as thorough, thorough as possible. The, um, the plastic bag legislation has uh, been reintroduced this time at a nickel uh, for only plastic bags. You had said, um, or your aides had said earlier um, that this is a measure you support. Are you still supportive? Do you think that it's time that the city put a surcharge on plastic you know, bags? What I'm supportive of is the uh, the, the the council's ability to, to do their work and uh -huh. to, to take a look at the um, you know the the environmental landscape, the the budget landscape, and to you know, I I trust uh, the process. Will be an open process and they will work in collaboration with all the stakeholders whether it's the um, the uh, stakeholders that feel that you know they are acting on behalf of the environment as stewards of the environments as well as the business community um, and i my, my commitment was to um, you know if a plastic bag uh, legislation if a piece of legislation re regarding a fee for plastic bags were to come out of the council mm -hmm. that i would sign it mm -hmm. okay. all right Thank you all very, very much. We, uh, actually, can we ask one more question about the... Um, Is it we or you? Uh, <laughs> actually, it's we. We discussed this question. Yeah. Which one? About the... Um, the 800 number? The IIA. Oh, yeah. The who? Yeah. yeah. Are, are you concerned about the... The 800 number? Yeah, the 800 number uh, misstep? Um, you know, I, I don't... We've talked about this before. When when humans are involved, human error is involved, I'm... I'm it, you never want anything like a, a misstep like this to happen, but it's not, um, you know, typos happen, um, and it and um, it was brought to our attention and fixed immediately. So, you know, am I concerned about typos? Yes. Is it raised to the top of my, uh, you know, list of con concerns? No. You know, a typo happened. It was fixed. We move on. You don't think it was intentional. Uh, I don't, I, I certainly hope not. Uh, I don't have any uh, reason to, to think that it was at this point. Um, <coughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm certain that if it were, if it uh, was an intentional act, we'll get to the bottom of it. It was a pretty stupid thing to do if it was intentional. In very poor taste. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you.